Welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. I'm Ross Jennings, and this morning I'm with James, Owen, and Kieran from Beast. How are you guys doing? We're very well. Very thank good, you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry for the early rise, but it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> okay. I get a good fringe so far. Yeah, it's good. Wicked. Really nice. Yeah. yeah, really good. It's sort of uh, it's nice because we were up last year, yep. and this year it's been a little bit easier because some people know who we are, they actually buy tickets and stuff, which is sort of refreshing, <laughs> refreshing change. And you're still based in Pleasance, Pleasance Courtyard or Pleasance? That's right, yes, yeah. Pleasance this Courtyard year as well. Right. Right. We're in yeah. the, the Pleasance below, 4.45 okay. every day. Now tell us a bit about your show. It's a sketch comedy, and you, had, you guys are quite fast-paced, but... Yes. It's sketch comedy, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's hard to describe because with sketch it's different every minute, two minutes, three yeah. minutes. Um, but we do have things that sort of interlink and interweave and uh, the sort of overall themes of uh, childhood nostalgia and the death of childhood, which is the main theme, but no one's noticed it yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a theme that runs subtle underneath. Subtle underlying. Subtle yeah. underlying. Yeah. It's, too it's mostly subtle. balanced out by stupid jokes. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, it is, it's quite fast paced. It's kind of it's, it's quicker and better than our last year's show. It's, uh, last year's show was very drawn out. Ambling. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And ha is, is it similar at all from last year's show? Any of the sketches have you pulled from last year? Like the best no, it's all, it's all brand new material. Okay. It's all yeah. brand new material. And I think stylistically it's a, it's a little bit different as well. Last year, because it was our first year, it was a bit like a sketch show written by people who, who'd never seen a sketch show. Yeah. <laughs> so there sort of weren't you know, punchlines or clear endings. <laughs> um, sometimes, but okay. you know, generally it went well. And, and I think that sort of stood us in quite good stead. It made it different and unique, but it also left some of the audience feeling a bit lost Confused. sometimes. Yeah. Mm. So I think uh, we've sort of tightened it up quite a lot this year um, and I think the sort of laugh ratio hopefully is a bit higher mm. uh, and I think yeah I think it's a step forward um, but as Kieran was saying like it's got it's a show that's a pure sketch show with a sort of real emotional heart we've just hidden the heart behind <laughs> dicking around mainly <laughs> being Perhaps stupid too well. yeah too well, well you've, got, you've had fantastic reviews I was reading one review this guy was like the best thing I've seen in the fringe so far oh, oh, he's nice. correct he's, 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 he's a mate of ours now, do you guys always do sketch comedy, or do you stand up? Would you bring that in? We're all terrified of stand up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it seems like one of the most difficult things to do. It's that thing of like when you have a, when you do a gig and it goes really well. It's like yeah, great. Now we can all have a beer and celebrate. And when it goes badly, you can all go. Oh, let's all have a beer wrong? and cry together. Mm -hmm. When you're on your own, it's just like I'm just gonna go. It's just a pit of despair. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't think we deal with it very well. Um, also, we're just not very. Really funny people are we? No, no. As this is making clear. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think I would like, you know, it's one of those things I'd like to do before I die. Yeah. Not just before. Yeah. You know. Like skydiving. I'd like, like yeah, like yeah. I'd like, I'm not, I don't want to die on stage so doing stand up. You'd work towards. But yeah, no, it's like something I'd like to have a crack at. Like, mm. like yeah, like a dare. You know. But I sometimes think sort of um, sketch, <laughs> sketch and anything performed or rehearsed is, is also harder because you've got to, you're more critical of yourself because you've written down what you want to do and if you don't do it, then, then you get annoyed. But sketch, you kind of, no. Down it, you're kind of winging it. Some people we spoke to were like, we did it out of pure laziness. That's why we started doing it. Oh, kind of makes sense. So That's like, true. There's nowhere to hide with sketch. Like, if you've, if you've set out this long thing, which you've clearly rehearsed, yeah. like we do like dances or songs or stuff like that, so like, we've clearly rehearsed yeah. it. If this isn't funny, it's entirely our fault. We haven't made this up on the spot. We haven't taken a chance. Like, no, we, we assume we this planned is this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We can't claim it's an accident. Yeah. It's quite clear we planned it. We've got sound and lights that indicate <laughs> that that is something that we were planning. Spotlight. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, yeah. It's like, oh, right. the right you know, at least with improv or whatever, you know, they can be forgiving and be like, oh, well, you know, it's just yeah. a one off. They know that we're doing this deliberately. Mm. That is often a concern. <laughs> also, if you don't get on board with it, mm. like, once it's on its tracks, you know, like, sketch is three minutes long or whatever. If they're not on board with it early on, they've got to sit there for three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> How have the audiences been so far? They're pretty good? They've been lovely. Really yeah, great. Really yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, it's been really, really nice. Just uh, a lot more people uh, this year, uh, which is, is always nice. Yeah. And uh, a lot more of the kind of. I don't know if we have a sort of target audience, but we're getting we're getting the right people in because they seem to be enjoying it. Oh, lovely, um, okay. I think word of mouth is really important in Edinburgh because it is that sort of thing. A personal recommendation. Yeah, so someone tells their mate, and then obviously you know that that person coming in, their mate has gone, you will probably like this, so yeah. you should come along. Oh, nice. Rather than a stranger who yeah. has no idea what it Locked is going on. A, a lot of the last year came in very suspicious. Mm. Rightfully so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this year there's kind of a lot more kind of got stuff behind us. Good. Uh, and it's nice to hit you. So you've got a bit of a fan base going on. Hopefully. We'll yeah. Yeah. Getting there. We'll getting call it a fan base. We've One got, or two members. They're yeah, both lovely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and will we be expecting you guys back next year? 
Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I didn't say anything then, but yeah. it seems that we are coming back. <laughs> <laughs> well, best, best of luck for the rest of the fringe, and thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thank, thank you very much. Cheers. Pleasure. Thanks for having us. This is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Bit.